hot end. Today I'm going to show you how Mickey Mouse can help save your prints from warping. Ready for warp, sir. Maximum warp. Punch it. That's right. Mickey Mouse can save your prints. Okay, just have a look at this and I'll show you how to do it. Oh my gosh, you have to see this. Get ready for something majestic. Okay, this is what we're trying to avoid. You can see I've changed my settings and made this warp up on one side. And this can happen quite easily on something thin. Now, of course, you know, this can cause all sorts of problems like the nozzle catching and throwing your print right off the bed or, or causing uh, layer shifts and all sorts of things. So we will see if we can fix it. Oh, that's not good. Now, Mickey Mouse ears to help stop warping. I'm going to show you how to do it. This is the easiest thing. It's probably the first thing I ever made in Tinkercad. So first off, go into Tinkercad. You can find it by a Google search. It's just a website. It's free, create an account, and we're going to create a design. And there we are. We're in the workspace for Tinkercad. We're gonna go over here to a cylinder. We're gonna drag one across here and drop it down there. We're going to make it one millimeter high and we're going to make it 25 by 25 and that's it this is one of a pair of mickey mouse ears or as i call them corner discs so we'll go up here and we'll call it a disc a disc and we will export it as an STL and that's it. You've just created your first CAD design if you've never done it before. Now go into your slicer. I use Simplify 3D still. Okay we're now in Simplify 3D which is what I use. Here's a couple of models that I want to try and print and you'll see it's very thin here so we're going to have warping issues on these edges here. So you simply import your disk it's there. Now if it totally disappears into your model, you can just pop it out with center and arrange. Okay, we need more of them. So we go into duplicate and two more should be enough. Okay, so now we need to position them and we just pop them onto the model like so. Now that disc becomes part of the model. And one over there, okay. Now, as you can see, it makes the adhesion surface much larger. So you've got less chance of that lifting up off the bed when you print. So we'll go into prepare there's our print with our discs and I'll print that out and I'll show you the end result. Exactly! Right, this is what it looks like once we've done our little magic tricks, added our Mickey Mouse ears and you'll see that the ears become part of the first few layers of the print. This gives us excellent adhesion, particularly where you've got sharp corners, and this hopefully will stop any warping from those corners. Now you can see that the, the corner discs are only a millimeter high, and the rest of the model just keeps printing after that. Now you can make them thinner, you can make them half a millimetre um, or even less. Just depends how many layers you want to make sure that that model will stick down onto the bed. Now of course I'm assuming that you have already done everything you can to make it stick in the first place. This is your bed levelling, 
your cleaning of the bed uh, and what have you. Now the print is finished, we'll just take it off and there's our ears still on there. Now this is printed in PET G and that makes them a little more difficult to remove. If it's PLA they'll just snap straight off but you'll see on here that a couple snap off but the rest I have to actually trim off with a Stanley knife. Um, such are the benefits of PET G that it's nice and tough. You can see there it, it bends and it's, I love PET G. It's my favorite filament. But anyway, we peel those off. Chop off the remnants. Without cutting your fingers off. And there it is, all finished. Now I'll put it down flat on the bed for, so that you can see that there's absolutely no warping whatsoever in this very thin print. There you go, see the corners are nice and flat. That's all I've got for you for this video. We'll see you on the next one.